Well, hello again. Len Tyler here once more. Another bit of music for you. Today, you're in my kitchen, so welcome to the kitchen, which of course is also the percussion store where we keep our percussion instruments. We'll find out about those as we go along. For today's session, you will need some plastic cups. I've got some various ones here, different sorts. It doesn't matter what sort you use, plastic cups or something similar. Um, you will also need your main percussion item, of course, is a saucepan, and you'll need something to play it with. So a wooden spoon or a plastic spoon would be ideal. You can also do with having a, a tea cloth or something like that. Okay, so to start with, we'll just begin with uh, the base material. We're going to be using hot cross buns, and we're going to be using engine engine. So I'll start by teaching you engine engine, just to make sure we've got the same, or the same uh, version organized. It goes like this. This is just for me to sing. Engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. If you want to, you can change the last, uh, change it to um, going down the older shop line or the fleet line or anything you like, wherever you happen to live. But the original was Chicago line, which of course makes this an American song. So, I'll teach it to you line at a time. Me first, then you copy. Don't sing with me, sing after me. Engine, engine number nine. Going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, Will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Okay, well Katie's going to join me now. All we're going to do now is just tap the pulse. It's the heartbeat of the song. Just with the fingers like that. So we'll all say it together. Ready. Engine, engine number nine. Going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. This time, we'll tap all the words and all the bits of the words. Every sound we do. So you get engine, engine number nine, like that. Are you ready? Get your hands ready. Here we go. Ready. Engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. This time, let's do the words again, but we'll do a lot of this to make the sound difference. We've had this sound, now we're going to have this sound. Just the words. Ready. Engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Okay, so you need a friend for this next bit, which is why Katie's here. Um, Katie was in the very first ever music lesson de uh, delivered by the Lentile Music School way back in 1994. That's a long time ago, isn't it? You must be fairly old now. <laughs> If you think you're old, I'm in dead trouble. Okay, so Katie's going to do the heartbeat, just the pulse. So you start the pulse for me. Lovely, keep it not so steady. And I'll do the words, and we'll do the song. Ready? Engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Excellent. So you're doing it with a friend or with a mum or dad or whoever. Swap over. I'll do the pulse. Katie does the uh, uh, the sound of the words. Ready. Engine, engine number nine. Going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Excellent. Now we're going to do a little bit more, a little bit uh, different now. Then we'll do the... The short notes there are the big ones up here. So we've got engine, engine number nine, going down 
Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe. That last line's a bit tricky, isn't it? Because the first line, and the second line's the same. Third line's the same. Fourth line's the same. The last bit, yes, no, maybe so. Let's try that. I'll do it first, you copy. Yes, no, maybe so. Right, whole thing from the beginning. Ready? Compton engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Okay, I think we can, we're ready to progress to some more instruments. So what we can do now, Oops. We can do engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe. Ah! Got it wrong. Oh dear. That last one again. Yes, no, maybe so. Hold it once more time. Ready. Engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. How interesting. Here's another way we can do it. We can pass the cups round that way, one cup's worth. Can you just pass it round one way? And pick up and another one? So that's something else that we could do. And engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. And we can go the other way around. Ready? Engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. That's another way of doing it. Here's a third way. We can do it like this. Engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. <laughs> Isn't this great fun? Let's do it again. Watch out for that last line. Yeah. You'll never get me getting that wrong, will you? Oh, I did, didn't I? Never mind. <laughs> Ready. Engine, engine number nine. Go to Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Yes. No, maybe so. Yay, great stuff. Well, I hope that was good fun and you had a good time with that one. Let's see what else we can do with these things. We're going to use something different. Let's do hot cross buns. I'll teach you the song just to make sure we've all got it. So I'll sing the whole song first. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Line at a time, I do it, you copy. Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny. Hot cross buns. So that's interesting. The first line, hot cross buns, is repeated for the second line. The third line is different, and the fourth line is the same as the first. So the song is what we call A, A, B, A. And what we can do with this one, with the cups, we can go hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. 
So you had a slide in that one. Let's do it again with the slide. Ready, hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. That's good fun. Let me see. We've done hot cross buns and we've done engine, engine. And inside these songs, you have the different rhythms. For engine, engine, we had, let's do it with the words first. Engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Every time we did that, that was TT. Every time we did that, that was tar. It was TT, it was tar. Let's try all in tars and TTs. Ready. Hot cross buttons, we had ta 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 shh. There's a shh in there as well. And that's when we did the slide. Let's do that. Hot cross buttons with the words first. Okay. Re Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ready, hot. So this time with tars and TTs, the single one is a tar, the double is a TT, and the slide is a shush. Ready, ta, 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 And you can make up your own actions with all these cups and games like this. You could do, copy me, ta, ta. Or whatever you like, you can make any sort of actions you wish for any of these things. Now I did say earlier that we had a source one to use. So we just have one source one, and I recommend you put it onto a cloth like this. So you've got just an ordinary uh, tea towel, and your source one is your main percussion instrument. And you tap it with anything you like. If you lay it on that, it's more resonant than having it on a hard table. So that lets it ring a little bit better. You didn't know you were going to get a technical lesson on how to play a saucepan, did you? But there you go. So if we did uh, engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah, okay, do you do the pulse? And I'll do the song. You can do the song as well if you like. Ready. Engine, engine number nine. Going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. I'll tell you what, if I have this saucepan for me, can you get that saucepan over there for you? And it doesn't matter what you play it with. There's just what we need. A yellow handled ice cream scoop. It'll do. So let's both do the pulse together. And it's good to get the pulse set first. Make it all sound together. Engine, engine number nine. Going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Also, could you do this? Engine, 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 engine. Engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. That's another way of doing it. How about I do the heartbeat, the pulse, and you do the engine? Engine. Ready? Let's get. I'll start the heartbeat first. You join in with the engine. Engine. 
engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Here's a very advanced one, but this is for not for the faint-hearted. Could you do engine, 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 engine? Okay, let me do the pulse first. This is not easy. Engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. That's a good one, isn't it? If you want to really try hard, and if you're one of the more advanced children, you could try doing engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. Do it all yourself. You could even try engine, not that one, you could try engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, that's another one for you to try. These are more advanced skills, but just having fun and doing it is good. Let's do hot cross bun, shall we? Mm -hmm. Just do the pose, shall we? Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. We could also do it like this. When we get the the ta 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 the shush, just tap sticks together. On the shush. On the shush. Okay. Ready? Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Oh, another go. Ready, hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. You could do it yourself on your own if you wanted. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Buns. And that just picks out and highlights the rest, the shush. Or you could even do the whole rhythm. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Let's do that one. <laughs> Ready, hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Excellent. Well, that was great fun. I hope you enjoyed our percussion fun in the kitchen. And uh, we'll close this session down for now. Keep singing. Keep having fun. But most of all, keep safe. Bye-bye for now.